Libra, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for Monday the 6th to the 12th of December 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. That flipped right around. Um, also go to my channel page, I've uploaded the monthly readings for December for each sign and I've also uploaded the yearly readings for 2022 for each sign, so go and check those out as well if you haven't already, or if you wish to. <laughs> So you get number 20, Dolphin Spirit, this and that are true. All about respect with that Dolphin Spirit. You know, just because you believe in one thing, it doesn't mean that everybody else does as well. They have their own beliefs as well. So it's this and that are true. Moontology. It's jumping out here, that one. Libra. You get the new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. Love that. Brilliant. Hope that's for all of you. Um, with that, so let's get into this. Libra. Overall, you've got the High Priestess, so quite guarded here, not wanting to be overwhelmed with too much, but quite happy to just sit back and be observant of what's going on around you, and um, yeah, love that. Past Energies, you had the Hanged One, the Full Princess of Cups. Wow, somebody needed to make a decision here in the past when it came to love and um, might have left the other party hanging around waiting for a decision to be made and in the end someone just took that leap of faith um, possibly towards love. Could be an existing relationship, it may be like a leap of faith towards maybe a marriage proposal, moving in together. Others of you may have been brand new and jumping into this new love relationship back there in the past um, as a leap of faith there. Present energies, temperance, the universe, the magus. Three major arcanas there and two in the past energies as well so very strong energy and look at what's in the core of your reading can't get much better than that with that universe could be dealing with a Sagittarius but doing things in moderation keeping things moving at a steady pace creating ways interlinking everything of how we're moving forward here and moving forward freely divine timing though things will happen for a reason, if it's meant to be it will be, etc. But given that that is in the core of your reading, let this universe be pushing you forward um, how you should be, I don't want to say how you should be pushed forward, but <laughs> where you should be going. But um, this manifestation still does come into play with this magus and keeping that real there. But luck is on your side, brilliant with the three major arcanas there. Future energies, two of two of wands, eight of pentacles, three of pentacles. You're very hard working to reach your goals and your dreams, willing to step up, put some plans and details into place, put the hard work into place to go after these dreams. But don't turn your back that you do miss other opportunities along the way. Luck is on your side, um, maybe taking a bit of luck here as well, but at the same time be aware of what else is on offer around you. But um, we will clarify each of these. Libra. Right, starting with the High Priestess overall for the week. Have 
happy sitting back biding your time nothing wrong with that at all three of pentacles the full ten of wands yeah, well, yeah again you know taking that time to put some plans and details into place here towards some sort of goal feeling like you're on this journey on your own possibly it's been a long hard journey and actually that is coming to its completion and you may be ready to take a leap of faith towards something new here um, you have that fall back in your past energies it may have paid off once back there and it's almost like okay we can do this again and ready to jump in again but it does bring an end to a burdensome cycle um, where you've put all the hard work in and things weren't seeming to take off but that's done and dusted brilliant Libra so the past energy is hanged one look at that, the Sun four of swords nine of Pentacles yeah that decision may have been needing to be made because you're left sitting on the fence may have given you some time now to actually take some time out for yourself and um, think about things here in the past sense of freedom and release and success at your fingertips coming out of that energy maybe where you're actually now going into this fall and ready to take that leap of faith let's go for it look at that seven of wands six of pentacles nine of swords yeah there's always sleepless nights overthinking of things a little bit of stress here when you're taking that leap of faith it's like yeah well where's it actually going to lead me to but you've got this persistence here and you've got this very balanced energy as well so even though it is a leap of faith um, you know things seem to be in balance here and that I can do it attitude brilliant princess of cups you get the ten of pentacles knight of wand knight of wands don't know what i was saying there knight of wands and ten of cups and again look at that for balance each side of focus and holding your vision of where you're going possibly when it comes to this love but there's success here a lot of emotional love and support flooding in a lot of happiness and stability here love it libra brilliant Present energies, temperance. Got the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus here, but again, it comes to this and that are true with Dolphin Spirit. Standing up for your own self, following your own heart, following your own beliefs, not listening to what everybody else is trying to tell you what to do here. There's um, possibly a reconciliation here. It may be a brand new beginning for some of you that you take that back. It may be a job that you're going to that you once worked at. It may be moving back to your hometown. But doing things in moderation for this new beginning, this new chapter, and again, doing it your way. That Six of Cups is also like playful energy, fond memories, a kind of anticipation there possibly of what this new beginning does have in store the universe you've got the seven of swords queen of cups death could be dealing with a Scorpio but there's been some sort of deceptive energy that's been able to leave leave or be left behind you know the past is in the past you're proud of how far you've come emotionally and again you're ready to move forward into this new chapter into the unknown yes but into this new beginning at the same time luck is on your side take that claim that there with that and um love it could they'll say could be dealing with scorpio with death energy and it's clarifying that universe things are happening this way for a reason we just don't always know why at the time <laughs> the magus six of swords the chariot the high priestess yeah whatever it is that you're moving forward from as i said it could be to another town um, another job um, but it's been done in secret you're not wanting everyone to know about it just yet and you're creating a way for things to stay moving smoothly to keep things moving smoothly and um around that kind of energy and again it may leave you a bit guarded and um, I don't want to say secretive but just not wanting to be overwhelmed with everybody knowing what, what you're doing so to speak there could be dealing with cancer but that chariot getting that moving forward um, even tentative if it's tentatively if it's tentatively at first 
Future Energies, Two of Wands. Got the Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, which we go into next, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this new love chapter, as I said, could be um, a job, it could be around home, it could be around love, it could be an existing relationship, it may be somebody extremely brand new, but you're willing to put the hard work in here. You know you've overcome a lot of um, hurdles and blockages in the past to get onto a clear path ahead, or onto a solid foundation here, and having that solid foundation as that new beginning from the ground up. Luck is on your side and um, maybe coming in around here. You're focused on where you're heading towards. Eight of Pentacles here. You've got the Five of Cups, Ace of Wands, the Lovers. Well, there is some sort of emotional loss and grief that you are going through. It may come back from this energy just back here. You may be waiting for an apology. You may be waiting a long time. And you may just be now focusing on this new beginning, this new chapter, two aces already down here in your future energies. But know there's other loving energy around. There is love here. You've got the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini and soulmate twin flame. Somebody significant here. Could be an existing relationship. It may be somebody extremely brand new, but on this journey with you to help you through this grief and... Um, and possible loss that you've gone through and having that fresh new beginning this fresh new focus on where you're heading towards and you finish with the three of pentacles with the empress eight of wands king of cups yeah very aware of what's going on around you here and of your own feelings but very aware that the communication needs to be open and honest and um, flowing freely there may be some decisions that need to be made and it needs to be made with a clear um, or knowing the full story with that eight of wands have getting control of your emotions and um, and that whole intuition may be kicking into gear there and let's see what the universe has libra three of wands ace of cups king of pentacles maybe a brand new relationship here or an existing relationship um as i said could be work could be home but there's you know this opportunity here for a lot of success getting control of finances maybe a bit of luck is coming in luck is on your side with moontology but this new love chapter but it's all coming in around some sort of clarity seeing the bigger picture you may be seeing someone for who they really are or a situation for what it really is it may be in a negative way but with these three here this energy here i actually think this is actually seeing someone in a more positive way and um yeah and having all that success come into place brilliant i love it libra let's finish with open to spirit oracle to turn around there remember you are a spirit being human everybody is human but everybody has a spirit too so love that so that's what i have for you libra do hope it helped thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time see ya bye